Hi guys. Well, Audrey's napping. Um, I didn't get a chance to finish up the other video this week, so I wanted to do the unboxing of the box that I got from Spirit Girls. Uh, I had bid on a few things, and I couldn't remember, like really, I remotely remember what I had bid on. <laughs> and won! Yay! Uh, so I got uh, this really absolutely hysterically fantastic card from the girls. And I even had a Secret Santa pay for my shipping and add on a few things inside. Um, and the one thing that I was interested in that I hadn't really seen before is called the Witch's Ladder Kit. And this is uh, about the concept of instilling intentions. And if you've ever worked with the idea of the law of attraction, manifesting, like this is, even though it's considered different things in different cultures, this is very much the, the real life idea of that. So for nine days, nine weeks, nine months, nine years, whatever time frame you want to put on it, uh, you have a cord and then uh, they have dyed feathers and each feather represents your time frame. So you would make an, a knot in the cord with the, the color feather and um, you would cement your intention, basically. Uh, so the first week is uh, the beginning of your intention. Um, the second week it comes true you know, your intentions is for it to become reality. Um, your third is, is reminding yourself that that's what it will be. The four is strength and more. The five is so it may thrive. Um, the six is so we fix it. We're still putting in our attention to what, whatever it is. Um, the seven is the start by the stars of, seven, of heaven. Uh, they, they rhyme. Uh, eight is the hand of fate and nine is the thing is mine. So um, if you were working towards visualizing abundance it, it doesn't have to be something specific and of course intentions and manifestations work well if you kind of leave things however they come right um so for this uh i really really liked the idea of it and the concept of it and the feathers are awesome i, I like feathers so um, i'm really glad that i ended up winning this um and it's called a witch's ladder but again um you know, the Buddhists use this when you pray about your prayer beads. Uh, it's used in different ways in different cultures all over the world. Uh, but I thought this was, was really neat. Uh, so I'm glad I snagged it up. And again, the feathers. I just like feathers. <coughs> what else did I get? Uh, I love potions because I'm a sucker for love potions. Seriously, I just, I am. And uh, the irony is that um, I may not need it anymore. So, we're maybe doing a giveaway. But, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to go there. Um, I was gifted a few things as well. Uh, this is one of the things that I was gifted. Uh, it's just a little vial of essence. Um, these guys work a lot with uh, essential oils, that sort of thing. Um, magical, pagan sort of things. Uh, so, this is uh, the Sovereignty Stock Essence. Uh, personal power, your higher self, uh, let's work on your chakras, that sort of thing. Does not contain vodka. Seriously, a problem. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, a lot of distillations, uh, herbal, medicinal, whatever, do use vodka, the alcohol content, um, to help instill stuff, but this is, this is not made with vodka. If you're interested in getting some of these, um, they don't typically sell them, but they do a lot of fundraisers. So if you are interested in, in any of the things that you see here, please reach out to me and I will give you their contact information. I'm not getting anything out of this. Uh, literally, I, I purchased these in order to um, help them with their fundraiser for the year. <coughs> what is this one? That's not, it's not a good one. All right, so this one is a tincture of Angelica and Agrimony for protection and healing. And this was made, uh, literally all of these were made by the girls. This one was made by Lindsay and it's a little bit darker, you can see. Um, and again, a lot of people put these on candles and pray or meditate. Um, it's not, it doesn't have to be for your body because I have allergies. Everybody knows I have allergies. Um, <coughs> so again, it's, it's, you could put it uh, in your essential oil diffuser. You can, you know, use that. 
Um, put it on a, a cotton ball and just have it, you know, perfume the room. Uh, this is Mugwort Tincture for Psychic Work, Visions, and Dream Work. And I think this was another gift. <laughs> I don't have issues with that. <laughs> um, this one is one uh, for protection, purification, and healing. And it's interesting because you don't hear of a lot of vervain because it's, it's kind of a hard to come by ingredient for the good stuff um all of this stuff has come out of the girls gardens um or, or hand uh picked from the wild from their travels uh so that's another reason why it's really, really cool to have um i'll use some of them i usually end up stockpiling some to give away or to use um i'd like to do a lot more meditation work this year so we'll see where that goes um oh Oh my god, I got this. This is so cute. I know, it's totally cheesy, but it's a little cauldron candle. I can't help myself. Truly inexpensive. So I think I grabbed two of them. They only had... Okay, yeah, I grabbed two of them. So i got to put that in my Halloween boxes. <coughs> what else? Yeah, I haven't even gone through these, so don't mind me. Pleased with myself. <laughs> oh, this is the one... I was so excited about this when the girls were cracking each other up in the comments about this one. This is the Housewives Tarot. And you know me, I love my tarot. But it is a domestic divination kit. And I had never seen this before. It literally looks like a recipe card, <laughs> recipe card holder. I was cracking up. So it has the major arcana, the minor arcana, and the instruction booklet. And they were putting quotes up from some of them. So I... I was dying to look in. So this is the major arcana. And it has recipes on the back. An ice box fortune cake. <laughs> I love this. It just it cracks me up. So this is the world. This is judgment because it should be a cake. <laughs> the sun. I had never seen this before. So I was just cracking up about all the pictures. And this is the star. Hold on, we gotta get to the devil. We gotta get to the devil. Hold on to this. Ah, here we go. Yeah, this is the devil. <laughs> Perfect, right? Chocolate cake. So I, I was, I actually, I fought a few people over this one, but I'm really, I'm really glad I ended up finding it a good home, if you will. So yeah, I was very pleased with that. Thank you, girls. Thank you. I'll have to see if I can tag them. I don't think they're on YouTube, but I'll have to find a way to put up their, their Facebook link on here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I think these were some more gifts. Let's see what I got. Um, yeah, well, I'm very lucky to, to know so many. Oh, my herbs. I do like herbs, like hardcore. Um, I sleep with my, my pouch of lavender above my bed. Um, although I stick it in my car sometimes and in my gym bag, seriously gym bag um so i got rosebuds actual like all this stuff again was harvested um from their gardens so experiment i really like spearmint um i like doing uh <coughs> viola and pansy i like doing teas and i got i always i always need lavender and they had it up so inexpensively to bid on so mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know uh, very happy with that so if you have the opportunity, uh, a lot of people go into uh, pagan stores and are intimidated, but you don't realize how much great stuff there is that's really not, I don't want to say pagan, but it, it's completely usable for a bajillion different other things. Oh, this is my white sage that she sent me from her garden. So that was sweet. I appreciate that. Thank you. <coughs> this one was really cool. This is, uh, oh, Spirit's Edge. Yeah, here, let me put up. See if I can take this out and put up their information. Um, so they are Spirit's Edge to the back too. And when they do rituals, they charge certain pendants and stuff in order to do, uh, in order to fundraise uh, year round. Well, they don't you know what they do. Fundraise is two, two, three times a year. Um, they do the annual picnic. And sorry, <laughs> interruption always. That's our life. Um, so yeah, they do have really awesome pendants. And this is uh, elder wood, and so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna find it a good home. I don't know if I'm gonna stick it in the car. I keep all 
keep all sorts of really awesome magical stuff in my car, which I always joke, you know, no one would steal my car anyway. Heaven knows how far it would go. <laughs> knock on wood. Knock on, knock on wood. Um, it's, it's been great to me, but it's time. It's almost time. <laughs> so I have my, uh, my raw ruby in there. I have all sorts of, uh, what, quartz for traveling on the floorboards because, you know, safety first. <laughs> uh, and I'll, I, I may put that in there. I like that a lot. So that's my unboxing of my, my gifts, my birthday gifts to myself and gifts from the girls. Uh, they're a really good group and I absolutely recommend that if you're interested, not necessarily in, in witchcraft or magic, but interested in meeting uh, really awesome independent women uh, who know stuff about everything, you know, because they do. Uh, they're fantastic friends. They're halfway across the world. No, not the world. Halfway across the U.S. And uh, I still absolutely consider them BFFs. <coughs> they do all sorts of stuff online. They do educational things online. Uh, if you're interested, if you have questions, please reach out to them uh, or me. You know, I'll direct you. And I hope you've had fun unboxing with me. Again, this is definitely, this is certainly my favorite. I have to figure out what I want to intend for this, but I think that'd be really cool to do. And, you know, you can reuse it, which is really nice, too. Um, yeah, is that it? Yeah, I feel like there was so much more, but I didn't win most of the stuff that I bid on, so that's okay. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.